Brought to you by Fast Pitch TV and sponsored by SoftballJunk.com. Here's another show from the 2014 Women's College World Series. Here with us from Alabama, we have head coach Patrick Murphy, Jacqueline Trena, Molly Fickner, Kayla Hunt, and Haley McClenney. We'll now start with an opening statement from Coach Murphy. Well, first, congrats to Coach White and Oregon. They're a heck of a good team. This is similar to 2012 when we had to beat the Pac-12 champion today, Cal. Uh, and they, they were just as tough as Cal was that day. Um, just a, a really, really good team. And um, again, for, for Jacqueline to shut out that offense is just incredible. Uh, so you got to tip your hat to Jack and our defense, and then we got a couple key hits. And you know, usually in, in the postseason, you have to have the great starting pitcher, you have to have the great defense, and then the third ingredient is you have to get the key RBIs. And we were three for three. Thank you, Coach. Please raise your hand and wait for the microphone before before you ask a question. And please state your name and affiliation. Also, one more request, if you would like more than one of the student athletes to answer your question, please specify which one you would like to start with. We will now go to the floor for questions. Okay, well, Michael Casagrande, AL.com. Just wondering what happened on that play. Have you ever scored on a play like that? What was that move called? <laughs> <laughs> um, it was just three and two, two outs, so I was running on the pitch, and – I, I took a peek and I saw the ball was hit, but I didn't hesitate because there's two outs, so it doesn't matter if she catches it or not. I'm going to go to third. Even if she slides and, and does catch the ball um, it, and it bounces, I'm still going to go to third base. So there was no hesitation, and the catcher started to come across the plate, so I just tried to go to the inside, and it was kind of awkward because I usually <laughs> go to the outside part of the plate. So I don't know. I haven't seen the replay, but it felt pretty awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was. Of course. <laughs> Tommy Dees, Tuscaloosa News. Haley, can you talk about the home run? Obviously, it, it looked like y'all from the lineup were expecting to see the left-hander Hawkins from the start. What what was the preparation mentally for that, and what did you see him do on that? Well, just to stay on top of the ball, I think, was our main thing going in. And then um, just the at-bat, she started out with two pitches outside, and then she came in the third pitch. Um, it, just trust in my swing, trust in the preparation that we put in to face, um, to face Hawkins, who's a phenomenal pitcher. I mean, you saw her. She was, you know, she made some of our hitters – um, chase. So, um, but just trust in the preparation that she was going to come in at some point in the at bat and just taking a hack. Uh, yeah, Cliff Brown, Associated Press. Uh, Jacqueline, your thoughts on playing Florida again? I mean, they're a great team, and we saw them once this year. And um, you know, we're just going to go into it like any other team. They're good. They're very good, and we just have to, you know, make quick, quick adjustments during the during the game and. Um, you know, play Alabama softball. Jackie, again, in the, the seventh inning, they get, you know, the go-ahead run comes to the plate. Does it, it feel familiar? I mean, it always feels familiar. <laughs> um, I feel like it's always like that. Um, so I just pull from those different um, times that I have been in those situations. And I know that I can trust my defense, which make, makes it a lot easier. So I know they're the behind me, so I didn't have any doubt. Molly, two things. Can you talk about the hit that, that brought Kayla home? And did you have any idea that she would try to score on that? And also, can you talk about what uh, Jacqueline looked like, uh, what kind of velocity she had and everything else? Um, yeah, well, like Hunt said, it was a 3-2-2 two, two out. So I didn't want to do too much. I just want to put the ball in play, uh, just see it long and uh, get on top of it. And then um, I did see her come around. It was exciting. And Jackie, she is throwing awesome. She's sitting in her spot, she's doing everything we need her to. We're mixing it up. Um, great hitting team. Uh, we're going to face another great hitting team tomorrow, but she's look, she looks great. As a catcher, uh, what would you do if you saw someone coming at you then sort of back off like that, the, the move that Kayla made? <laughs> I would just try to tag her. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to watch it in slow motion. I was running, so I didn't really see it. <laughs> Pete LaFleur, College Softball 360. Questions for Kayla about Haley. Um, if memory serves, your guys lead off hitters in the basket, 
been people like Caleb Rowe or Jen Fenton, slap hitters, not necessarily home run threats, is that safe to say? Um, you know, Haley's kind of an epitome of maybe a five-tool, I know it's kind of a cliche, but a five-tool player. What does it mean, you as a veteran player, to have a player at the top of your lineup that can do so much with their speed and her back control, but can also get a home run in such a big game like this? Just give your perspective. And I don't know, Mer, Coach, if you have anything on that too as well. Um, obviously, it's great to have someone who, I mean, she has so many tools. I mean, she can slap if she needs to make an adjustment, if she's popping up, or, you know, she can hit home runs like you just saw. You know, having that at the top of the lineup is huge for us because, um, you know, especially down the lineup, you know, you, kn you know that she can get the key hit and she can get the RBIs, you know. Um, and she can also get on base if she needs to. She can bunt if she has to get on. She can hit the double in the gap to score the runner from on, if we have second and third or something. So having those tools is huge for our lineup to turn it over and to pass it down and to start it off. So there's a, there, having all those tools is huge for our lineup. I think she reminds me of the a female Ichiro. You know, that's the best way that I can describe her because he can do all those things and so, so can she. Patrick, back here. Greg Eklund for the Portland Oregonian. Two-part question. One, did uh, Haley follow all your base running instructions in the first? And secondly, did the um, uh, early opportunities give you the feeling that your team was going to break through against them? Well, one, the rule is at your behind you, so she did follow the rules. It, it, she didn't get in front of it, so she couldn't advance. And then I think she, she didn't, I'm, I can't speak for her, but I think she thought that the girl made a great play. So. Uh, so she did follow the rules, and then um, now I forget the other question. What was it? Breaking through. Oh yeah, I, I mean, you got to credit Mike for having the guts to start the second kid. Um, and we watched her last night against Oklahoma, and she made a couple of kids look really bad. So, and a hell of a drop ball. Uh, but I thought we would eventually score against her, and I think he probably did make the right move when he did uh, pull her for Hawkins. Um, you know, you just never know in this situation. The toughest part, I think, of coaching is when to pull a pitcher. How, how long do you leave her? When do you pull her? You know, do you go with your two kid, you know, or your number one in this case? So it's just a tough situation for, for both sides, really. Yeah, Patrick, Patrick, two questions. One, did you, was your lineup set for Hawkins? Was it a left-handed pitcher lineup? Yeah, because we only had Haley in the, the top spot. Um, but. I, I felt good about Jackie hitting either one. And then Danny has been our best kid all week in BP. She's been our Jazz Lunsford from a couple years ago. Every VP, she has been ripping the ball, and I think all four of them would agree with me. And she went one for two, and Jackie went two for three, so it really didn't hurt us, you know? And, and the other part, talking about Jacqueline and, and your defense, uh, the top three in their lineup have been so good all year. One of them gets on twice and never gets to second, and then the other never get on, I guess. Yeah, that's a scary threesome. I mean, CO, that's – she – other than Caleb Bro, I don't think I've ever seen a better drag bunter than her. And we knew it was coming. And you still saw how, how far she beat it out. That's just incredible. Uh, I hope she's wearing a red, white, and blue uniform this summer, but she's, she's terrific. Um, but Jackie, again, I mean, I think the key thing with her was the no walks. You know, she had eight strikeouts but no walks. And she forced him to swing the bat. What's the scouting report on Florida, and how does the dynamic change now that you're going to a series? Uh, I mean, they're a really good team. I think it's very respectful rivalry. Everybody up here and everybody on our team respect the heck out of them. I don't think it's a nasty rivalry at all. You know, I'd consider Tim and I good friends. And um, it was such a long time ago. I think it was the middle of March when we went down there. And I think like three or four of their kids that are starting now are. are, are weren't starting then. So it's, they've, you know, had some movement in their lineup. So have we. Uh, I think both teams are obviously much better right now. It's a long time ago, you know, two months of hard work. And I think it's going to be a heck of a good series. Patrick, how does the, the, the challenge of getting back to a final series these past two seasons compare to trying to get to, to, to a, a final for the first time? Well, I would have said it was harder to get to the first one, but now, um, I think it's even harder to get to the second one. Uh, everybody, you know, there's a huge target on our back. Everybody has seen us throughout the whole year on TV. I mean, it, it makes it very difficult to surprise somebody with Jackie's pitch or with a Haley swinging or bunting or whatever. There's no more surprises in our game. 
I mean, it's just it's it's difficult to surprise somebody with a move or a, a play or anything like that. So I think it's much more difficult to get there the second time. You know, and I kept reading the, the scoreboard, you know, when I introduced the Alabama girls, it says Alabama's the only school in Division One softball that's been to all 10 Super Regionals. I mean, that's difficult in itself. But to get back here now and get to a championship series uh, with a team that's been here three times, I believe, Florida, uh, it's just it's a great feeling for all of us involved with the program. A uh, question for Molly. Uh, you know, you transfer in. Just maybe what, what you're feeling right now that you're that this – ultimate experience that you're going through. Just give us a, a sense of that. Uh, I, I used to go to UTSA a lot for baseball tournaments and Wolf Stadium and all that, so I kind of get a perspective. The second part of the question, though, is um, being an academic All-American and the, like the example that someone like Kayla sets for that. And I don't know if you realize you guys said, you know, with four academic All-Americans, there's only five in this whole tournament. The other was Whitney Canyon. So uh, just kind of the two-part question there about your transition there and then the academics. Oh yeah, um, obviously it's an honor to be up here. This is great. It's a dream come true. But as far as like the academic All-American, when I transferred, my goal was to surround myself with people that are better, people that are going to want to make me better. And coming to Alabama, that's what happened. Um, I've stepped up my game because of these girls next to me. Last question. Yeah, for Patrick, uh, Kayla, and Haley. Um, Earlier in the postseason, some of your, your normal big hitters and weren't getting as much production. Do you feel like going into the final that everybody that you need to start to break through is doing that? I think so. I think we're, we're hitting on all cylinders. And, and this tournament alone, I mean, in Super Regionals too, we've had a different hero every, every night. And we said it the other day when we, uh, before we played Oklahoma, that's the greatest thing about this team is one through nine or anybody on the bench can come through in the clutch. And it's been Leona, it's been Peyton, it's been – Runyon and it's been Jackie, it's been Haley. Uh, I mean, that's why it's so much fun to coach this team. There's a different hero every night. Kayla? Yeah, I think he hit the nail on the head. I mean, that pretty much that's exactly what I was going to say. You know, throughout this lineup, any anybody in any part of the lineup can come through for us. And I think that's the biggest thing for us is that if we get runners on at second base and it's our eight hitter, you know, there's no doubt that they can get that hit, you know, and I think that's the biggest thing for us is, is, you know, we have to have that timely hitting, and in order to get timely hitting, you can't just have two or three people that can only do that, and I think that's the special thing about this team is that anybody can get that hit at any time. Haley? Yeah, I, I mean, I agree with what they said. I mean, we're one of those teams that we can attack you one through nine, but we can also attack you one through 18. It doesn't matter who's up to the plate in a pressure situation. We have the utmost confidence in whoever's up at the plate to get the job done, so... Um, just, I think that's really big for us just to get your attack in one through nine, but you're, we can also attack you one through 18. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Looking for a softball bat? Do you want to save $30? Softballjunk.com is offering an additional $30 discount on all regular price bats on the website. That's right. $30 discount. Just text the word fast pitch to 555-888 and Gary will send you a discount code good for $30 off your next softball bet at softballjunk.com. FYI, that code's also good at the Arlington, Texas store. This show is a member of the Fast Pitch TV network. See all of our shows and blogs at www.fastpitch.tv.